Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal and welcome back to another What Sold video. These are sales on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay from April 1st through April 15th of 2023. As always, we are going to start on Mercari where I had seven sales. Mercari has definitely exploded for me in the past two weeks and I am very happy and I'm here for it and I hope it continues. So the first sale on Mercari was part of my Via Trading Amazon jewelry lot. It was a Faith Heart Serenity Prayer Gold Tone Round Pendant Necklace. It did have a little bit of scratching on it, so I listed it at a lower price. I sent the customer an $8 offer and they accepted. Next was a New Day green floral mock neck sleeveless swing blouse. So when I say swing blouse, it like flares out pretty dramatically at the bottom of it. And this was from my America's Thrift Supply micro bale and it sold for $10. If you watched my most recent unboxing where I unboxed nine pounds of fashion chain belts, you will remember this one. I actually had quite a few of my belts sell from this lot. I'm really surprised, but then again, I'm not because people need belts. People love belts. And I think these chain belts in particular are really nice to wear during spring and summer because people are wearing less clothing, so they wanna show off. So I think my timing of listing them was perfect. So this one was a creamy yellow enamel flower and rhinestone oval link chain belt. I do believe that this was White House Black Market because when I did a Google image search, that's what came up, but there was no markings, no tags, so I didn't list it at that, but it sold for $15 and I think it sold in one day. Next was another item from my Amazon jewelry lot from Via Trading. It was a Faith Heart gold tone Gemini dog chain necklace. And this sold for $10, which was an offer I sent to the customer. Next, we have a mountain hardware vest that I picked up at a local consignment store. This was like a very pretty mossy green color. It was an older style, which I think if it was newer, I probably could have gotten a few more dollars for it, but still very happy with this. And this vest sold for $22. Next was another chain belt to sell from my belt unboxing. It was a silver tone mosaic pattern oval and round chain link belt. And this sold for $12, which was an offer I sent to the customer. And then the last sale on Mercari was a ring from my Shop Goodwill ring unboxing. This was the brand Joseph Esposito. So it was marked Espo on the inside band. It was a 14 karat gold plated Marquise shaped, which just just means that it's basically a diamond shaped um, clear rhinestone ring and it sold for $15. It sold in one day and that was an offer that the customer sent to me. So of my seven Mercari sales, I had $92 in sales, $15.38 in fees, giving me a profit of $76.62 and my average sales price for each item that sold was $13.14. You'll notice that a lot of these sales didn't sell for a lot. In fact, I don't think I had any sales over $30, but most of these items that I've sold had a very low cost of goods, so it kind of evens out. So moving on to Poshmark where I had 13 sales. The first sale was a Lululemon skirt. This thing had so much interest on all platforms and I don't think that I had it listed too high. I think I had it listed at 40. I was expecting, you know, people to offer maybe 30, 35, which I totally would have accepted, but nobody did. So it was the Lululemon black on the fly drawstring elastic waist skirt. I picked this up in Pennsylvania back in October when I went shopping in Amish country, USA, and it sold for $26 with discounted shipping. And that was when I was sending out aggressive offers of 35% off, I believe. I'm upset that it didn't sell more, but I'm also happy that it did sell finally. Speaking of a quick sale, this one sold super fast and had a ton of interest very, very fast as well on all platforms. So it was a Carhartt Black Hybrid Water Repellent Tote Bag 
or backpack. It was convertible, so you could switch it very easily back from a backpack to a tote bag. I picked this up at a thrift store in Pennsylvania when I was home helping my mom recover from her hip replacement surgery, and it sold for $28 with discounted shipping. This bag is still listed on Carhartt's website for around 68, I think. So this person definitely got a really great deal because it was in like new condition. I think the person maybe used it once or twice and then donated it. Very happy to find it. Very happy that it sold fast. Next up is a necklace that I got from Whatnot. It was a lilac purple and gold tone sunflower charm butterfly necklace. It sold for $15, which was my full asking price. It was like the perfect necklace for spring too. Next is a pair of denim shorts. These were the brand Hollister and they were lace trim, medium wash, distressed short shorts. That was the style name were short shorts and they sold for $15, which was an offer that the customer sent to me. Next, we have a pair of Gap navy blue high rise skinny leg pants. These came out of a thread up rescue box and they were like the nicest feeling material that I've ever felt Gap produced before, if that makes sense. It felt like a very durable nylon blend fabric. It had zippered pockets, like the details on this pair of pants were just excellent and they were in really nice condition and they sold for $20 with discounted shipping. Next I have a dress that I've had since 2020 and I'm very happy that it finally sold. It was a Zwolinska. <laughs> it was made in Poland. Watercolor flower rose gold one shoulder strap t-shirt dress. This was a very thin jersey knit material. Like I said, it was made in Poland and this came out of a thread up rescue box and it sold for $18. The next sale was a silver tone hollow heart dangle chain cha-cha belly dance belt. This came out of my most recent belt unboxing and it sold within one hour of me listing it. I listed it early on Saturday morning and I went to pack up my sales from the previous night and someone had sent me an offer for $15 and I gladly accepted. Next is a relisted item from 2019 that I pulled out of inventory, rephotographed, relisted, and it got a lot more interest this time. This dress did not have a brand tag, but when I did a Google image search, there were plenty of other dresses that looked exactly like it that was the brand Connected Apparel. So this time when I relisted it, I did put the brand in the title and it was a Connected Apparel Crimson Red Ruche Waist Sleeveless V-neck midi dress. It was in okay condition. There were a few snags in the mesh lining, especially down near the hem where people probably stepped on it by accident with their heels and it sold for $11 with discounted shipping. Next is another belt to sell from my belt unboxing. It was a vintage gold tone coin medallion elastic waist belt. This one wasn't in the greatest condition, but I still listed it because I know these types of belts are sought after and it sold for $8 and that was an offer the customer sent to me. Next is another item from my Via Amazon jewelry lot. This was a Faith Heart Dainty Silver Cross Stainless Steel Bracelet or Anklet. It was adjustable so you could wear it both ways and it sold for $9 with discounted shipping. Then we have a pair of shoes to sell. This came out of my most recent Thread Up shoe unboxing. They were a pair of Vionic Black Plaza Presley suede heeled slip on mules. They were in gently pre-owned condition. They did have a little bit of wear to the inner soles and they still sold for $22. And that was an offer that the customer sent to me. Next up is a Precious Moments graduation figurine. This one was called Lord is the Hope of Our Future. It was my own when I graduated high school. I no longer collect Precious Moments. It sold for my full asking price of $16. It sold within a couple of days. And when I thanked the customer for their business, they said that they were graduating soon and they wanted to give their mom the gift of this graduation figurine, which I thought was super sweet. I'm very happy to pass it along to a home that will cherish it and hopefully display it. 
And then the last sale on Poshmark was another Via Trading Amazon Jewelry Lot item. This was a keychain and it was for like medical providers. It had the little medical crest that looks like a cross almost. I have no idea what that's called, but it had that as a little dangle charm. And then it also said, bless me with a gentle touch and a caring heart. And it sold for my full asking price of $8. So of my 13 sales on Poshmark, I made $211 in sales, $46.80 in fees. I did give out some shipping discounts, $10.10 worth, giving me a profit of $154.10. My average sales price for each item that sold was $16.23. Moving on to eBay where I had 20 sales. The first item to sell was a blouse from my America's Thrift Supply Micro Bale and actually a lot of blouses from my Micro Bale sold. I think because a lot of the blouses I received were sleeveless, we're getting into warmer weather and I didn't start listing these until like late in the season, early fall of last year. So now they're finally getting to sell, which I am super happy about. Even if they don't sell for a ton of money, I'm still flipping inventory and it helps with, you know, the algorithm and all that stuff. So the first blouse was the brand SO, which is a junior's brand sold at department stores. It was the perfect shirt. It was black and white plaid sleeveless blouse, and it was a size small, 100% rayon, and it sold for $8.25. Next, we have an antique gold North Star gray rhinestone marcasite stud pierced earrings. These came out of one of my various jewelry unboxings. I don't remember which one. They were super, super tiny and they sold for $9. Next is a new with tags Bobby Brooks teal tie dye hoodie. This was advertised as a size 1X, but I actually think it fit more like a size large or extra large. I did put that in my description. I won this as a giveaway on whatnot, but it didn't fit me quite the way I wanted it to. So I listed it instead and it sold for $13.70. Next is a Lauren Conrad sage green and ivory floral rolled short sleeve blouse. Lauren Conrad is just sold at Kohl's. This is a blouse from my micro bale and it sold for $10.50. Then we had a lot of three bracelets sell from my Via Trading Amazon jewelry lot. They were all the same bracelet, but someone bought all three of them and that's all that I had. They were a granddaughter heart charm pink rhinestone beaded bracelets. On all of my multi-quantity listings, I do have the option of if you buy more than one, you do get a discount. So the customer bought all three of these for $25.47. I did end up refunding the customer a little bit of the shipping cost because by the time that they bundled everything, it was telling the customer it was going to weigh over one pound, which would have been priority, but thankfully they weighed under one pound after I packed them all up. So I did refund the buyer a little bit of shipping. Next is a Lewin Gray 100% Linen Peach Moto Style Jacket. This I picked up at one of my local Salvation Army stores and it sold for $19.16. Next up was a genuine green stone dangle silver tone charm link anklet. I wasn't sure if it was agate or jasper, so I put the little question marks behind each of those words in the listing, and there was a tiny little crystal that was attached to it as well. This came from a Thread Up jewelry unboxing. It did have a little bit of wear and rust on some of the silver accents, which I did notate, and it sold for $9.75. Next up is one of my own Personal items as a kid is very near and dear to my heart. I remember looking at this book many, many times and making lots of recipes from it. It was a vintage 1987 Alpha Bakery gold medal children's cookbook. It was a soft cover cookbook. It came from the brand General Mills. I think you could probably write to them and pay like two or three dollars and you would get this cookbook. And surprisingly, these sell fast and they sell for decent money. It's just a little soft cover book, but apparently they are pretty well sought after. Mine did have some condition issues. There was a lot of staining on the front covers, but it still sold within a day or two of me listing it for $8.49. 
Next up is a mixed jewelry lot of 14 gold tone wearable vintage and modern bracelets and necklaces. For a while, I got tired of listing just individual necklaces and bracelets, so I put a whole bunch of them in a lot, and this lot sold for $14. The next sale was a new with tags DC Designs Aspen Mountain Wooden Square Pendant Necklace. According to the tag on the back, this was sold at like a museum or a conservatory gift shop. It sold for $15.29. Next up was a duster cardigan. This was by the brand Relativity, which I think is just sold at department stores. It was super bright, super colorful. It had an Aztec pattern to it, and it sold for $9.60. It did have a hole that I repaired, so I was happy with that offer that the customer sent to me for a repaired item. Next is another S.O. Juniors brand shirt. This one was a teal plaid button front round hem sleeveless blouse. This also came from my micro bale of blouses and it sold for $8. Next is another blouse from the same micro bale. This was Ruby Road Petite orange, white, and black textured leaf print blouse. I think I'd use the keyword Halloween because it totally looked like a Halloween shirt to me or like a fall autumn shirt and it sold for $10, which was an offer that customer sent to me. The next sale is a sample perfume that I picked up at a yard sale. I picked up a whole bunch of them for you know one price and my cost of goods was very low for these. So this sample perfume was Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I'm not sure if when I photographed this particular perfume, if it wasn't completely full and I just didn't notice it or if some of it had um, evaporated while in storage. However, it wasn't the full 0.04 fluid ounces. So this did sell for $5, but I did refund the customer $2 just because it wasn't completely full. There's still plenty of liquid in it, but I just didn't feel good about sending it to the customer without giving them a little bit of money back. Next is an item that I lost money on, but I'm so happy to see them gone. I don't know why I thought I wanted to get into cosmetics and hair products and bath and beauty and things like that. Um, it's just not profitable for me. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I could probably learn, but at the time I wanted to learn and I paid for my mistake here. So it was a lot of two VO5 sulfate free nourish and shine moisturizing conditioners. I think I picked these up at either Big Lots or Ocean State Job Lot, one of those discount stores. They sold for $6, which was what the customer offered me, and I ended up losing $4.31. But they are out of my house, and I have learned my lesson. Next is an Ipsy Lemon Printed Summer Zippered Pouch. This could be for traveling, for makeup, what have you. I picked this up at a yard sale for $0.25, cents, and it sold for $5.94. The next item is a belt from my belt unboxing that I keep mentioning. I told you these things are just selling like hotcakes. It was a black faux leather, teal blue cabochon, faux turquoise concho style belt. This belt sold for $10.75, which is an offer I sent the customer and it went all the way to Canada. Next up is a North Face shirt. This was a gray Western style snap front collared shirt. It was a size small. There was a stain that I missed when I picked it up at the thrift store. I did my best to stain treat it, but some of the stain was still there. It sold for $14.75. And then the last two sales are from my America's Thrift Supply Micro Bale. The first one was an H&M collared sleeveless vertical striped blouse. It was semi sheer, you could definitely see through it, and it sold for $8.75. And then the last sale was a St. Tropez West Linen Brown and White Swiss Dot Button Front Blouse. This did look like it had a belt at some point, but was no longer with the item. And it still sold for $10.75. So of my 20 sales on eBay, I had $223.15 in sales. It made a shipping profit of $36.49. The customer always pays a little bit more money than what I have to pay through eBay's discounted shipping program. 
Fees were $64.05, giving me a profit of $195.59. And my average sales price for each item that sold was super low on eBay. It was $11.16. And now for my total numbers where I had 40 sales from April 1st through April 15th of 2023, I had $526.15 in sales, $99.84 in fees and shipping discounts. My cost of goods this time was super low at $112.60, giving me a total profit of $313.71. And my average cost of goods for each item that sold was $2.82. I did sell quite a few free to me items and I also sold a lot of jewelry pieces, which usually my cost of goods is under $2 for those. So very happy with these two weeks of sales. As always, thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If you're new to my channel, I do these what sold videos twice a month, every two weeks. So hopefully you can stick around for the next one. And I hope that your sales are plentiful as well. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.